Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. I've been sick for the past few days from a severe allergy attack. So I just wanted to get out of the house today, try to catch some fish for bait. We're gonna explore this area, but not where they are. Mostly I want a Tinkara fish out here, but I did bring an ultralight and some uh, worms. I'm gonna be testing this. I just got this, I bought it off of Amazon. River Peak, it is 50 meters of level line. I want to see how I like it. I want to be fishing a nine foot level line on my 13 foot Tinkara. This one was given to me by Not Real Fishing. Now, in reality, this is a 13 foot line that I'm fishing because whereas my level line, if I can grab it, oh, the wind is not. Uh, here we go. I got it. So my level line for casting is nine feet, but my tippet or my leader, if you will, is four feet, and I'm using a 4.5 tippet. It's about four pound test. And I'm gonna be fishing a hatchy. It's a size 14 fly hook there. That is a hatchy kabari. Not the best day to be fly fishing because of the wind. It's at 15 and that's about as good as it's gonna get. It is 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Some people just showed up to fish this area. That's what you hear in the background. And there's an alligator doing white water stuff over there. There we go. Fish on. Yeah, you're right. I thought this would be a good spot. It's a bit of a wind break because of the trees right from, across from me. If the wind will stay in one direction, it keeps changing. That is a big alligator out there. So far, I would say, I think this level line is okay. It does happen to be the cheapest level line. Well, it was the cheapest I could find on Amazon. A good level line shouldn't have any memory. If you look at this line, even though it's blowing around in the wind, it does retain some memory, but it's not as bad as like cheap mono. See how it's not quite flat when I slacken up. Still got a bit of a wave to it. It's not bad though. When I first came to this spot, the wind was coming up and down the canal. Now it is coming across it, but I can still use that to my advantage as I cast, a cast with the wind instead of against it. And I'm just gonna slowly drag. I was gonna go to another spot until I saw a fish here. There is a cast net that someone has abandoned. I tried to get it out, but it is stuck. We just had something come up to the fly. Oh, missed them. What I'm trying to do here is keep the level line actually off the water. That's why I have such a long tippet. There we go. Fish on. Nice. Nice hookup too. Right in the top lip. Awesome. Right behind you. All right. Two. Got two. So I've come really far up the ditch. This is actually the same ditch that I was fishing where I caught those two gills but I was way down there there are far more wind breaks up here meaning it's sheltered from the wind a lot and I've been catching bigger gills up here as well now back to what I think about this level line that I bought it's pretty good price most of the level line on Amazon is going to run you about 18 19 to 20 something dollars this was 15 as you see I just took it off the spool that I store it on and I'm smoothing it out by stretching it like this try to get some of that memory out and that's what I did before when I first before I first started fishing today still that doesn't help that much but it does something I'm not going to use the 13 foot rod here I'm gonna use this region 9 foot it's after 4 now I think this bite is gonna pick up pretty soon but it yesterday was the full moon so i'm expecting the bite to either shut down when the moon rises this afternoon or 
just totally s slow down. This is a pretty light level line. It's only four. I got some 4.5 on the way. Level line isn't necessarily the best for windy conditions because it's so light, but this size isn't as bad as other sizes. I could have went much lighter. This is still easy to cast even though it's kind of windy. It's right in front of you. Yes. Ha ha ha. That took forever. That was really tricky just to get that little thing. There's a bunch of them really active right in there. I'm going to come up high and walk past where I just caught that fish. They're still hanging out. But I want to get over here to where they can't see me that well. Plus the wind will be in my to my advantage to casting to them. I'll keep that red tote over there where they can't see it too. Got him. Oh yes. Finally a nice one out of here. Gotta go get the forceps. Come on guy. I am sight fishing at the moment. I see a couple big gills cruising right here. But the wind is not letting me get all the way to them. But I am getting their interest. I got one chasing the He's kind of slow and the wind is pushing to fly faster than I am. Here he goes. Up. Oh. I missed him, but I got him that time. Oh, we got a different species, I believe. Look at that. Upside down cichlid, a rare species. No, I'm just kidding. It's a real grand cichlid. It's the first one on the fly for me. It's pretty cool. Even though I'm starting to feel like... <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. That's how I feel right now. A lot of you know I don't mind catching cichlids. I actually enjoy it. But you know, a lot of you do know this. I don't like using them for catfish bait. They don't make good bait. They're not an oily fish. There's a pickle right there. Hmm, little guy chasing me. Yeah, gotcha. I saw you come up. I was ready. Yes. Woo! Another piece of bait. So far, I say this level line is pretty good for the price. It does have a little bit of memory left in it after you smooth it out but it is sensitive enough to where you can feel something small like this or smaller give a bite if you can't see the bite there oh we got one oh goodness me tiny tim switch to the worm for a second there we go nice I was picking up for the worm. I think I'm just gonna finish this session out. We almost have enough bait. Nice. Oh. Yeah, that's super nice. Look at that. Got a goggle eye. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Back to the fly. There we go. Oh, missed it. There we go. Oh no. Dang it. Missing fish. I need more reach. I've got everything set up to where changing rods is super easy. I have a just a slip knot here. 13 foot rod time. Well, got one, finally. Oh yes, this one is putting up a good fight till he just popped out like that. Come here. I'm gonna grab the line. Yeah, I'm glad I switched to the 13 foot. Made it much easier. Got one. 
Wow, I'm glad I cast behind me for a change. And there's a bunch right in front of us, but damn wind. Got them. Sometimes you just can't give up. Whoa. Got them. Oh, this one feels good. Yeah. Look at the size of that. Nice. At this point, I have plenty of bait for catfish and I'm wiped out. Just totally wiped out, guys been pretty sick before this and i'm just glad to be able to get out of the house and do some fishing i am feeling better today but i'm not 100 percent. but tomorrow's a new day thanks for watching subscribing and i'll see you next time